Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Nancy Raven, also known as Nancy Taylor, was born on December 25, 1872, and is generally regarded as one of the last two native speakers of the Natchez language. Nancy's father was Cherokee and her mother, Natchez, and she learned the language at home. Interestingly, Nancy never learned English, but was trilingual in Natchez, Cherokee, and Creek. In 1907, she worked with anthropologist John R. Swanton, who collected information about the Natchez religion. In the 1930s, she worked with Mary Haas, who collected grammatical information using an interpreter. Raven told Mary Haas a Natchez story called The Woman Who Was a Fox. The other last native speaker of the Natchez language was Nancy's biological cousin, Watt Sam, who in the Natchez kinship terminology was classified as her nephew. Watt Sam was a Natchez storyteller and cultural historian, and like Nancy, also lived in Braggs, Oklahoma, and worked with Mary Haas and John Swanton. In 1931, anthropologist Victor Rist made several wax cylinder recordings of Watt Sam speaking the Natchez language, which were later rediscovered. Today, one of the cylinders is at the Voice Library at the University of Michigan. Among the Natchez, language was passed down matrilineally. Sadly, since neither Nancy Raven nor Watt Sam had any daughters, they did not teach the language to their children. Hi, I'm Meg Kassbaum, curator here at the University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.